Hey everybody, got a package. These are going to be the DYS Samguk Way 2207-2600 KVs. Come packaged, same as the other ones. Different printing on the box. I'm sure it's going to be a different character on the inside as well. Empty talk. And we'll see if they come with the same everything else as the other ones do. They do come with two extra clips as well. So I'll pop this one off quick so we can get a good look at it. There's balancing putty, you can see right here already. The windings actually look really good in these. They are not arced magnets, I can tell that already right off the bat. They're just standard magnets and they got pretty tight air gap on them. A little bit of balancing putty right there. A little sloppy with the balancing putty on it. These are a different shape. Instead of saying, I'll just show you. This is like a star and this is rounded over. Windings are different. Got about the same air gap between the two. And they have the nice long wires on them. The 2306 are definitely smoother, not as coggy and notchy. These are a lot more coggy and notchy than those ones are. So we'll pop this clip off there and take a good look at the windings and the stator. This one just has one spacer shim in it. Huh, the bearing came out with that one. That's why it pulled so hard. So I, how I was telling you in that other motor, how the bearings moved around in there real easy. This one does too. They're tight in there. It's not going to spin or anything. It's definitely friction fit. The windings look way better on this one. They actually come out, when they wind it, they came out through on the bottom side instead of up on the top. And they wound them the right way. This one comes through on the top, but it comes down right away. The shaft must just have a burr on it. That's why I pulled that bearing out. What I usually do to put the clips back on is I'll find a screwdriver bit that is a little bit bigger. And you can tell there's a stamped edge where one side is a little sharper than the other. You want the sharp side facing out towards you. And then just stretch it over onto the screwdriver bit like that. Make sure your spacer is down on there. And just push it down on there just like that. And then I'll usually grab a pair of pliers just to make sure it's seated in that groove. And it's all seated in the groove and you're good. I like that they all come with extra clips. So I'm going to whip this on the thrust bench and then we'll spin it up. The website says it puts out uh, 1,070 grams of thrust at 29 amps and that's with a 5045. We're going to be running the same prop as we run the all the rest of the other motors that I got. The 5048 Tri-Blade Racer Star. Okay, so I'm running a 50 amp ESC on here. So these will pull as much as they want. Um, that's the same ESC I run with all of them. Same battery I run with all of them. Same prop I run with all the motors I've tested so far. And the only difference is that this pack is down a little bit. It's at 16.4 instead of 16.8 or 16.7. So I'm just going to spin it up just to get a reading. I'm going to go up slow and then I'll go 
full throttle. See if we can get a clean one here. That's pretty crazy. I don't know how. Motor's a little bit warm. I don't know how much of that you would want to subject it to, but that was like 13 something grams of thrust. I'll tell you on the, I'll put it up on the video right here. That's quite a bit. It's pushing it with that prop and that ESC. I'd have to do some real world testing on it to see how long you could actually run it at that. So there you go. That's the DYS way, the 2207, 2600 kV. So in my opinion, the DYS, the Sam Gook line, um, both the way and the shoe are really good quality motors. Basically for an economy line motor, you can't beat these. Just from looking at them physically, I have to obviously field test them yet, but for right now, just from the thrust bench and everything, Definitely give these a thought if you're in the market for a motor. I'll be flying them. Like, subscribe, have a great day.